Okay, now let's watch Team Connecticut. You're hitting one-handed backhands. Just toss a little bit more to the corner. So we've gone from static balance to, to dynamic balance. Small little steps. Try to, if you can, step straight out. Many times you have to take the diagonal step. ATA, just air the armpit. Peter, just keep your left elbow a little bit higher like this, and that'll help you close the racket face. That left elbow a little bit higher. Okay, stay on your front leg longer, William. There you go. All the way it goes forward. Better. You did what Miron told you, Jacob. Up on that back toe. Good. Eight to be great. Toss underhand. Just lead the ball to the player. And you're tossing the ball right in their strike zone. Now, each time you come back in the ready position, Jacob, get a forehand grip with your arm bent. No shortcuts. Jacob, in the ready position, push your hand out. Now, Deanna, when you turn, turn more where your right arm gets against your body. Right arm gets against your body. Okay, step straight out. Love the practice. Love the practice. You just have to hear one thing over and over again, Jacob. Step straight out. You step across, you swing across. Step across, your hips are locked. Get much further below the ball. Lead him a little bit. Now, right now, we're just doing it at a slow pace. We've gone from a standstill to a walk. We're not running right now. But 195 times across the baseline is a mile. You get a workout by doing this once we pick it up. Just great alignment of your arms. Peter, slow it down a little bit, Jacob. Now, what we could do is we could start to teach it a little bit. Jacob, now watch his left elbow, see if his racket face is open. Yeah, and let's see if his front leg is straight. Now stay there. The more you swing up, the more the ball spins down. Just lift, lift, like the ball weighs five pounds. All right, great job.